Hey guys, welcome to EOS Marketplace News. I'm Riz and I'm here to bring you up to date with the latest out of EOS Marketplace News. Now, if this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to get the latest out of EOS Marketplace News. And guys, another reminder, let me just remind you that we are not financial advisors. Rather, we are a gathering of good news and rumors about your favorite digital currencies that we have gathered from over 500 online videos and research links every day. So what we strongly suggest is that you guys do your own final research to make the best decision for yourself. Alright, so guys, today I would like to talk to you about... Um, a very interesting news that I have uh, come across uh, the internet through PCN.today uh, about online fiat wallet Net, uh, Nettler uh, launches cryptocurrency exchange service. But before we talk about that, let me just uh, remind you about our website which is preferredcurrency.news and with our website you can subscribe to our daily newsletter and get the latest out of uh, your favorite digital currencies and blockchains 12 hours earlier before the rest of the world so that means that before we broadcast them here on YouTube we will be sending you the copies of your newsletter for the day which contains the most interesting articles and topics for the day and of course other uh, very useful stuff such as websites where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions, a place where you can advertise uh, what you have for sale in exchange for EOS and also what you would like to buy using your EOS uh, tokens. And not only that, um, I will just introduce you to uh, my most favorite part of this uh, newsletter is Donald's, re uh, Donald's research list. Now, uh, this list is a very comprehensive summary of what's been going on with your favorite digital coins and tokens, and they are all jumped uh, or packed in a uh, single spreadsheet, which is very accessible, very easy to use, and very easy to understand. Now, let me just pull that up for you for a little bit. Okay, so to get there, all you got to do is be a subscriber to preferredcurrency.news and look for this button right here that says open, uh, open spreadsheet and it will write you to the page. So this is for uh, Donald's research list for October 22, 2018 and it will show you right here if your favorite digital token has been performing good, if it's, having, if it's receiving negative reviews if it's having um, fair, neutral, good news, or best news for the day. And not only that, it will also show you uh, the current uh, or the current price for uh, in U.S. dollars for your favorite digital coin, uh, the share of its total market value, Google searches compared to the last seven days, 50 candle SMA movement, number of technical uh, indicators, 24-hour current volume versus price, weekly volume versus price, and monthly volume versus price, and of course, the percentage that each token has been uh, issued. So guys, go ahead and check us out at preferredcurrency.news to get more information like this and more. And to be a subscriber to our newsletter, just go to preferredcurrency.news and look for the PayPal icon. Now you can use your PayPal icon or your PayPal accounts to pay for a recurring $15 per month fiat or you can even use the Coinbase option here in our website you, uh, for an annual subscription of $180 using your favorite crypto coins. Alright, so guys let's uh, move on to our news for today. So we will be talking about online fiat wallet Neteller launching a crypto service, uh, cryptocurrency exchange service. Now, digital fiat currency wallet provider Neteller has started allowing its users to buy, sell, or hold cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, uh, ETC and of course Litecoin. Now the cryptocurrency service is already live in 10 countries and the company plans to roll it out more uh, roll it out to more than 50 additional markets. 
Now, who is Neteller? Now, Neteller is a service operated by PaySafe Financial Services, uh, Services Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of PaySafe Group uh, Limited. PaySafe Financial Services was founded in 1999 to provide an online alternative to traditional payment methods. Now, the group announced on Friday that Neteller has launched an in-wallet buy and sell cryptocurrency feature, elaborating, quote, As of today, Neteller users can buy, hold, and sell cryptocurrencies via a recognized cryptocurrency exchange including Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and Litecoin purchased using any one of 28 fiat currencies available in the Neteller wallet. Unquote. In a quote, Neteller website states, We expect to add more uh, more currencies in the near future. Unquote. Adding that users can currently exchange from more than 100 payment methods into cryptocurrency without additional verification. The supported fiat currencies include Australian dollars, Brazilian reals, Canadian dollars, euros, British pounds, Indian rupees, Japanese yen, Mexican pesos, Russian rubles, Swiss francs, US dollars, and Colombian pesos. Now, some of the methods for funding a net teller account include pay by mobile, ePay, PaySafe card, local bank deposits, and Bitcoin according to its website. Funds can also be uploaded via a number of banks online such as Banco de Brazil, HSBC, Itau, and Nordia. Now, some of the funding methods for uh, seller accounts also are Visa, Visa Debit, Visa MasterCard, Skrill, Nor um, ePay apps, and more. Now, PaySafe, uh, the firm also claims in a quote, our, uh, our rates are very competitive by comparison to the average market rates of the major cryptocurrencies exchanges, unquote. And PaySafe also detailed in a quote, NetSolar's new cryptocurrency service is already live in 10 countries with plans to roll it out to more than 50 additional markets over the coming weeks and months and to extend the service to its NetSolar mobile app, unquote. The minimum cryptocurrency purchase or sale amount is approximately equal to 10 euros. The firm clarified, adding that the maximum amount deposits on the transaction limits associated with, uh, with each account. Each net seller wallet has a default fiat currency which is chosen at account creation. The fee is 1.5% for purchasing and selling cryptocurrencies from wallets with euro or US dollars as the default currencies. Now the fee rises to 3% for wallets with other default currencies. Paysafe Group, uh, PaySafe Group is also authorized by the UK Financial Conduct Authority or FCA. However, the cryptocurrencies are not regulated by FCA, so NetSellers crypto, uh, crypto service is provided under the company's own term of use. Alright, so guys, what do you think about this move by NetSeller? Do you think it's wise and it will be... Um, it will be very much accepted by those people who are uh, having their own cryptocurrencies or digital wallets, uh, digital currency wallets. Let us know in the comment section below. And guys, stay tuned for more videos like this and more information and updates from EOS Marketplace News. And don't forget to, uh, to give this video a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for more videos and updates. This has been Riz and I'll see you next time.